It usually takes about seven hours to get from London to New York City, but our changing climate might make that trip a little longer. Paul Williams of the University of Reading noticed that when the concentration of carbon dioxide is doubled, it causes jet stream winds to strengthen, directly impacting planes flying 35,000 feet in the air. The atmospheric winds and temperatures up there are very strongly tied together and therefore the winds are changing in response to the temperature changes. His experiment looks specifically at the route between New York City's JFK Airport and London's Heathrow Airport. We found that transatlantic aircraft will be in the air for an extra 2,000 hours each year, and this is going to add about $22 million to airline fuel costs. With the strength in prevailing jet stream winds, Williams says travelers can expect eastbound flights to be shorter, under five and a half hours, and longer when heading west, more than seven hours. Williams also warns that other routes could be at risk. And in a previous study, thanks to climate change, he found that travelers can expect double the turbulence.